Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Kelvin from BlackSunComics.com and today I'm going to show you how I made the facial animation test video that I posted last week. Stay tuned. <laughs> So in order to create the video that I posted last week, I used some of the usual software suspects. Daz Studio, I used that for character creation and the rendering of a final image, which I then put into Photoshop and run through Filter Forge in order to get the cartoon style look that I use for my comics. So here's where the new software toys come in. I picked up Crazy Talk Animator 3, the pro version, and this software is really cool. It actually will allow you to import a 2D image and animate that using a puppet style animation style technique. I hope I described that correctly, but it, I'll show you in a moment. Very intuitive, uh, very cool, I, I like it. And then I picked up Hit Film 3, Hit Film 4 Express, and that's a video editing and video compositing software which a lot of people compare to After Effects. I didn't want to go with After Effects because I already pay Adobe a subscription for Photoshop, and I didn't want to pay another subscription for, for After Effects. And HitFilm seemed like the logical choice. It's very cost-effective. Didn't go with the Pro version. I have the Express version with a few of the add-on packs. You, you can select different add-on packs that give you the, the effects that you want. So those are the tools that I used, and right now we'll get into how it was done. Okay, so the final animation was made up of three images, and I'm just going to show you those really quickly here. The first image is of my character, Lumaya. Uh, if you visit my website, blacksuncomics.com, you can see my webcomic with her in action. What's important is that this image is a PNG so that it keeps the transparent background, and that way I can add a different background when I start doing my video, when I start doing my video compositing in HitFilm. So here's the first image. The second image is the green screen, and this is actually what I'm going to use to, to key out the background in HitFilm, uh, and then add this image, which will be the final background. And it's just a picture of a sci-fi, you know, base. Probably a stonemason product. I, again, if you've been following the videos, you know that I probably have a lot of his stuff. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I've already done all this, so I'm not going to go through every single thing. It might bore you. If you have questions, you know, I'll be happy to answer those questions and do another video that explains something else more in depth. But what I am going to highlight is how I did the facial animation soft, how I did the facial animation in Crazy Talk Animator. So let's flip on over to that. So here's Crazy Talk Animator 3, the pro version. And I'll just open my Explorer window. Here's the image of the character. I'm just going to drag this in. And now I get a choice. I can create a prop, an edge layer, a background, or a G3 free bone actor. I'm new to the software, so I haven't played with everything yet. I've done props, I've done backgrounds, I've done the G3 free bone actor. Uh, don't know what image layers are yet, but I'll find out. So I'll just click that, and I get this error message. I guess it can only take a certain size. So I just click yes. There we go. So it's there on the stage, and actually I clicked that a bit quickly, but what, what I did here, uh, I clicked on the image, and then I want to come over to this composer. And it's in the composer where I will actually turn this into a face that talks. So I believe it's this icon here and it's a uh, convert to morph based head. So that's the that's what you want to do. I'm going to click that. And first it's going to ask me to crop the head. And hit apply. Let's go to the next step. And now what I need to do is mimic what it shows here. So these numbers need to be at the corners of the eyes and the corners of the, the mouth. So Crazy Talk Animator does its best guess, and this time it, it didn't do a good job, but that's okay. I'll just zoom in. And then move the number one over to the corner of her eye. Move the number two over there to the other corner. Scroll down, this is by her nose. It should be by the corner of her lip. 
And we'll do the same for number three, but just on the opposite side. We'll leave it like that. Pretty easy. But we're not done yet. Let's click next. Okay, so now what I have to do is again mimic what's in this picture here. So let me zoom in. And it's just a process of getting kind of outlining the, the facial features of the character. And again, because I've already done this, I'm just doing this very quickly, very rough, so it might not be completely accurate. Okay, let's grab our eyebrows. See, so you notice I'm just grabbing these points here by the, the lines that appear. And it's kind of like a process of tracing almost. Let's scroll down and see. So the nose looks all right. The lips look okay. Uh, I guess I could move these closer. I'm not sure if this actually has an effect. I think it affects the hair more than anything. Again, I'm new to the software, so I haven't, not an expert yet. I'll leave it like that for now. The next thing that I like to do is, um, well, there is this first uh, face fitting editor, and then there's this other one that allows you to, it adds more points so that you can adjust things a bit better. So now I can bring this up here. And I can just use that to get something that traces the lines in this character a bit more accurately than the the first go around. All right, I guess if you have a character with uh, very simple lines, then the first go around is okay. Whoops. Let's move this to the middle. Okay, that's fine for now. And I'll hit next. And this, I usually put the strength down to one and preview. Doesn't look so good right now, but that's okay because there's more that we need to do. And I'm going to hit okay. Okay, cool. So now that that's done, um, in order to animate the eyes, well, in order to make the animation look a bit more realistic, I have to replace the eyes in the image. And then I'm going to add some teeth for her uh, mouth. So let's, let me see if I remember. I think I have to come over here. Let's go to the content manager. And I want... What do I want? No, that's not what I want. Head. Okay, I'm in the wrong category. So I go to the head category, and I want some eyes. So I click eyes. And then I want morph eyes. And I want human eyes. So let's take the sexy human eyes. I'm going to double click that. And you'll see it replaces the eyes. But I don't want her to have blue eyes. She needs to have brown eyes. So the way I edit that is once I've selected the eyes and double click them, they appear here. I go up to this eye settings icon and click that. And now I have these options to, um, to adjust the, the eyes. So I have the eyeball iris. Okay, so I'm just going to make that dark, cool. Eyes white, so I'll leave that as is. The eyes light, I'll leave that as is. Eyes shadow, you know, I can take that off or leave it on. Uh, let's leave it on and I'll just make it darker. Or, yeah, you know what? Maybe I don't like that. I'll take it off. Uh, there's the eyelashes. 
And then you can preview by closing the eyes. I don't know if I like that there, but again, this is just rough. I'm not doing too much refining right now. I just want to show you uh, what this looks like. And then you can use this. Uh, I'm doing the preview and I can use my mouse kind of like a puppet to move the eyes around. Let's close. And now I want to go back to here to get some uh, teeth. So morph mouth and I'll just get normal teeth. Double click that, and there we go. And if I want to edit it some more, I just click that mouth icon, and I can edit it some more. Cool. So that's really all it takes. Now, to test it, I'm going to go back to the main timeline. Well, the main stage, sorry. And I can open up the timeline here. And let's just make her bigger. And now that she's selected, I can go over to this icon, which is the face puppet icon. Double click that. And I can apply a um, an animation profile. The one that I used before was this youthful one. I think I used angry. Uh, let's preview and see. So I'm gonna click preview. I hit the space bar. And now I can use my mouse to just do subtle movements. And when I click, her eyes will blink. So as I move the mouse up, you can see the teeth down. And that's all I did. It's very easy. It took me a few moments just to, to rig this image and I use the 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 puppet uh, this puppet tool to to record. So actually, I'll, I'll do that now just to show you here. So to record, all I do is hit uh, well, I hit the record button, hit the space bar, and you'll see the timeline's going. And now it's recording my movements. So as I click and she blinks, and I move it over here and there. You see, it gets too extreme if I go from one edge to the other. So you have to be kind of careful and just do very subtle mouse movements. Okay, and I'll stop recording. Let's close this and I will go back to the beginning and play. And you'll see it plays back the performance that I did with the mouse. I, I would never use this. This is a bit horrifying, <laughs> but you, you get the idea. Uh, next, what I did was I added the green screen. Very simple to do. I just drag it in and added it as a background. Done. From there, I exported the video and moved it into HitFilm. So that's all I'm going to show for today. If, if you found that useful, please uh, click like and subscribe. If you have further questions, leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please visit blacksuncomics.com where you can download a free preview of my graphic novel, Black Sun, The Longest Night. Yeah, that's it for now. So until next time, take care. Peace.